Put the camera. Remote sensors, a tracker, gyroscopic sensors, an accelerometer, and a magnetometer. The Chinese cubic satellite will be able to rise about 300 meters above the Earth's surface. This ambitious project aims to record and send images and data related to altitude, temperature, humidity and pressure in the atmosphere. This satellite is a donation from the People's Republic of China through the Chinese Association for Science and Technology and the Chinese Science Center for Children and Youth. Participants were trained by Chinese experts on how to assemble and use a total of 10 cubic satellites. This scientific collaboration with China is successful. Following a training course offered by Chinese engineers, Tunisian engineering students and researchers have learned how to build launch and monitor the first four cubic satellites. This collaboration with Chinese experts is important for Tunisian engineers and researchers. China is one of the few countries capable of launching satellites into space. This project raises public awareness of space exploration and offers Tunisians the opportunity to learn about space technology. Tunisian authorities say the launch of the Chinese cubic satellite is a step forward for research and development in the North African country. This partnership with China makes students and young people in Tunisia discover space technology. Tunisia is committed to boosting scientific collaboration in this very promising field. Over 7,000 people attended the Chinese satellite launch in Tunis. Eight new cubic satellites will be assembled and launched this year. Tunisia has reaffirmed its commitment to developing its national space program through various steps. The North African country is seeking to boost collaboration with space agencies in many countries, including China. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.